What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I said in yesterday's video, I expected us to get a pop out of the open, which we did. I told everybody this morning, don't marry this. I don't know how long it is going to last for a few reasons. One, investors are still concerned about the COVID variant. While I don't think there's any validation behind it, my opinion does not matter. Couple that with inflation fears, as well as a weak jobs report. And President Biden not really doing a good job trying to ease the fears of the public or investors was just another recipe for disaster. So in this video, I want to talk about three specific things. One is going to be the overall state of the market. Two is going to be AMC dipping down to a level that we haven't seen since May. And lastly, we're going to talk about what I do when the market shows me what it did today. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the state of the market First, as you can see, the SPY is now confirmed a little bit of that downtrend. As you can see, this line I've had here over the last few videos, we did get a pop out of the gate. It got rejected. We blasted right through the 50-day moving average. And you know that the 100-day moving average is the next stop that we're going to hit. Last time we broke through the 50-day moving average, we got a little bit of choppiness, a little bit of a bounce, which I do expect to see a little bit of a bounce to happen. We're already starting to see after hours as of right now, and then look to retest that 100 day moving average. Now, when it comes to, again, the overall state of the market, if you've been watching my videos for a long period of time, you've known that I've scaled out of a lot of my long positions. Back in 2020, I was like 100% invested in the stock market. I had no cash. Okay, I pulled draws from my business account to dump it into the market. I would wake up every single morning and be green with doing nothing. And it's nothing that I did. It's the market that we were in. And that market slowly got away from us. And that's why I sh slowed down my positions. I took my profit. I had more and more cash. We were 20% we were cash on hand, then 30%, then 40%. Then it got to be almost you know, 70, 80% cash on hand. And there was only a handful of swings one of them, the heaviest one being AMC, but other than that, a lot of them were cut. My longs, I should say, not really just swings, but my longs. I took the profits when the market delivered that. And I cannot wait to get back to that market. I do still swing some stocks when the market gives me what it gave me today. All right, I called out to everybody saying that you could pick any stock in the NASDAQ right now and nibble a little bit of it, buy a little bit of it, have cash on hand with room to add, and you're going to see a bounce happen. It's exactly what we're continuing to play inside the market. Now, analysts do expect 2022 to be choppy. Strategists right here, strategists have begun to deliver their outlooks for the stock market next year, and many are tempering expectations after this year's gains. Now, it is very unlikely for the S&P to not have a correction, a 10% more drop in the second year of the bull run. And the second year of the bull run is ending in March. The S&P 500 is unlikely to repeat these kinds of the returns next year, and that's okay. There's still plenty of money to be made inside the market. And remember, the stock market is a marathon. It is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's very simple. You buy when everyone's fearful, and you sell when everyone is greedy. Now, if you got into the market thinking that this was something that you were gonna pump in a little bit of money, and just walk away with you know hundreds of thousands or millions or whatever. Sadly, I'm sorry, you're wrong. You probably heard about the stock market from somebody who doesn't know anything about stocks. It just got overinflated. Now think about Dogecoin. When everybody started jumping into Dogecoin, you know when the when the the, the waitress or, or or the waiter and the bartender at the restaurant were talking about it when it was 70 cents and it's down under 30 right now. It's the same thing I talked about Shiba Inu. Now I'm not saying Shiba Inu isn't going to have another run. The pattern is very cyclical and all coins are still hot. But when your barber is talking about it, when it's, you know, eight, eight thousandths of a penny, okay, it's down almost 60% 50 or 50% from where it was. When everybody's talking about it, that's when your ears need to be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. When nobody's talking about it, that's when you need to get in. It goes for everything, okay? So let's get into AMC. A couple things I want to talk about with AMC. Let me find it on here. We have broken down to levels, like I said, we haven't seen since May. And the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to AMC is this. If you got into this play because of the fundamentals you learned about, well, none of that has changed. All right. We're sitting at about $30 after hours right now. We've been there all throughout August. We were there. It ripped all the way back up to 52. 
but it doesn't matter whether we're 30, 40, 50, 60, or even 72, 62. If you're in this play to enforce the shorts to close out their positions, for the naked shorts to get exposed, for the synthetic shares to finally come to fruition, all right, then nothing has changed when it comes to this play. Now, if you invested every single penny in this and you have no cash on the side and you haven't made any money working, well, then I'm sorry, well, you, you probably should have been working, all right? You should, probably should have some cash on hand to be able to add to some of these dips, to be able to dollar cost average in your position if you did buy in the 50s or 60s. And nobody should ever go 100% all in on their portfolio, all right? As you know, I'm clearly not 100% of my portfolio inside AMC because I play other stocks. So therefore, obviously I'm not. I also have a family to look after. I have a child to be able to, you know, God forbid something happens to me. I have to be able to support them and leave a legacy for them, okay? But nothing has changed when it comes to AMC. And if you watch my videos, you know yesterday that because we saw levels at 30, what was it, 33.24? 33.24, we haven't seen in a long period of time. I added to my position because I still know what is in front of us, okay? And I can handle these dips. I can handle these pullbacks. Now there is a lot less buying in AMC. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. I don't know who else is talking about why they shouldn't buy AMC or buying AMC isn't working. I, I, that doesn't make any sense to me, but I will tell you this right now. There clearly is less buying when it comes to AMC over the past two weeks. And by looking at a chart, I don't care if you're new to charts, you haven't been investing in the stock market a long period of time, it's very clear to see that. We had that line drawn at $36, it, it was strong, you better believe it. But just those guys, the bulls holding our side, knowing where it stands at 38 and at 36 right here, well, they've all got their fears. Now, the one good thing about the entire market pulling, and if the market does continue to pull, is the fact that these large funds, <clears throat> their leverage, the amount of they, uh, that they can access on margin because their portfolio is going to be dragged down, their capital is going to be dragged down, the liquidity requirements are going to be raised, it does give us a better chance at margin calls happening. I'm not going to say it is guaranteed to happen, okay? I'm not going to put out a video or a thumbnail on here saying it's confirmed as of tomorrow, we're going to 100 grand. I feel like some of you guys saw that and got a little bit too excited. All right, but that's not just the reality. It doesn't, it's not going to go from $30 to 100 grand tomorrow. Will this stock get back to, by looking at it, in my opinion, will this stock get back up to higher grounds than it is today? Absolutely. It became insanely oversold. Okay? So if you are panicking and if you are nervous, it's understandable. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I get it. I get it, especially if you've been holding since the 50s and 60s. But on days where it's just down, 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 and it finally gets to this point, this is not the point, in my opinion, to sell when it's gone all the way down to here where you're sitting, you're like, all right, 27 is my limit. I'm out. Well, here we go. We broke through 27 and we're already back above 30. All right. So like I said, if you're in this for the entire longevity of the play, then the price, whether it goes to 30 to 20, to, isn't going to matter. Okay. And if you're talking about the overall stock market, this is why we continue to have cash on hand. This is why we, we play the short plays. We just get in on the days. And if you don't have the time and the comfort and the ability to be able to day trade, that's all right. That's all right. As much as inflation is high, you don't want to end up losing out on swings that are going to get pulled on you. You can dollar cost average on days like this, on dips like this. I mean, look at snow. I told everybody at snow, it's not at 305. I mean, yeah, sure. It, it ripped after earnings getting up to, I think, what, 368. Um, but this is something you could dollar cost average into or, or, or what else? Have you, I mean, there was, you know, NVIDIA, AMD, you couldn't name anything, um, you know, Roblox, any of them, they're just down so much. It's going to take a bounce going forward. Even if you look at some of these other ones, American Airlines, this is probably going to dip a little bit more because you have COVID fears, but these are solid longevity plays going through it. So don't get, don't let these days shake you out. These are days where you should be buying. And when it's ripping, don't just watch the green, green, green. Those are days that you should be scaling, okay? So I understand this video was a little bit harsh and I apologize if it was, but that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.